Dueling Excel Podcast 80, Better Chart Title. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. I'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. Hey, Mike, all this week it's been Chart Week at Mr. Excel on the Mr. Excel Podcast. We've been taking someone who knew nothing about creating charts and uh, built them from this data in Word down here uh, to this chart. And it's surprising, you know, you think creating a chart is easy, but there were lots of uh, gotchas as we were building this, like the scale is wrong and they used wrong colors and everything. And I'm kind of down to the point uh, with the chart title. And I have to tell you, chart titles just frustrate me because I can't seem to get a lot of control over the chart title. And I always think the chart title should tell the reader of the chart something. Like you should draw, as the person who creates a chart, you should draw some conclusions or put something there so that way when they look at the chart, uh, they kind of know what they're looking for. And, you know, I, I don't feel like I have a lot of control. Uh, with charts at all, uh, you know, they're static and so on. So I'm going to show a trick today of how to take that uh, chart title and, uh, and make it be from data right in the chart. And what I did here, uh, we're comparing uh, some over three years, uh, the number of employees that were there one year later after higher date, uh, all employees versus employees who took a particular course. Now to protect the privacy of the, the person that sent this in, I changed the name of the course to your course because, well, actually, if it was your course, it'd do much better. And I kind of came over here and said, all right, well, we were up six points there, up four points there, up seven points, on average, uh, five points. So I created this little title uh, using a formula, equal employees using Excel Dragons were, close quotes, ampersand, and then the text of my calculation there uh, using the percentage and then more likely to succeed, uh, concatenate concatenating that all together. The reason I have to do that somewhere on the spreadsheet is that this trick with the title uh, needs to point to a single cell, not to, uh, not to, uh, it can't build a formula right there in the title. So I'm going to click on the title, make sure that I have a nice uh, solid box around the title, not the dotted box like that. I want the solid box. And the name of the sheet is called THURS, Thursday. So right up here in the formula bar, I'm going to type equal THURS exclamation point and then looks like we're in F6, F6 and press enter. All right, then what we get is we get a chart title that is uh, uh, dynamic if these numbers would change. So let's just take this up to 95%. Uh, then the formula here changes, the title formula changes and the title changes. You know, the problem that I, I have then is, you know, I just don't seem to have a lot of control. I can kind of left justify everything, but I can't control where it breaks. Uh, if I change the size of the title, maybe it, it's all just very uh, frustrating using a title. So, Mike, let's see if you have a better solution for this. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Absolutely love it. When you click on this label right here, there's a formula. What is so beautiful about that? Yes, as Mr. Excel just showed that um, if I update any values, boom, the label updates. Now let me show you two different uh, tricks. Let's come over to the sheet Thursday 2. And here, I'm going to add a label again. Um, what happened to my ribbons? Oh yeah, you got to click on the chart. Actually, Mr. Excel showed you that earlier in the week. And it is frustrating, right? Where would they go? I click on the chart. I'm going to go to layout and chart title right there above chart. Now, instead of coming up here and typing the formula, make sure that the solid bar is all around. Mr. Excel showed that also. Just click up here, type an equal sign, and then click on the sheet F6, and it automatically puts the sheet reference, that's this name down here, syntax in, and the cell reference. Right, so if I change this to 95, instantly that updates. So that's one trick. The other trick is um, if you wanted to have different font sizes, I don't know how to do that in a uh, connected title, connected by a formula to a cell. But let's come over here and let's see how to do something slightly different. Now, I'd like to actually move this over to the side and add a uh, type of chart title over here. So I'm going to select that legend and then you could right click format legend or you could use the keyboard shortcut. And this keyboard shortcut works for whichever chart element you have selected. Now I've selected this and I want to op open and format it. Control 1. 
and then I'm going to the legend, I'm going to show it on the left. Instantly you can see it over there, I'm going to click close. Now, sometimes these are hard to move, but I'm going to try and find my move cursor and click and drag down. And now I'm going to come up, and if I'm on the chart tools, layout, there's a text box. You could also be from, do it from the insert ribbon under shapes, but I'm going to stay on this layout, text box. And I'm going to, you see that little cursor right there, I'm going to click and drag. And now I could type that cursor flashing means I can type some stuff. Now I'm going to cheat here. I don't want to type this. I'm going to click over here. I'm going to put it into edit mode, F2. Highlight all of this, and it's a formula, right? But if I hit the F9 key, I can cheat. It converts it to text or evaluates the formula. I'm going to copy, and then I want to keep that formula there, so I'm going to hit Escape. All right, that's just a tricky way to avoid a bunch of typing. Now I actually shouldn't have put the text box there. I didn't put anything, so I have to come back up here text box. But now I have copied that text, so now I can just paste it here. That cursor flashing means, yes, you can put some text. Control V for paste. I'm going to put my cursor right here, space, and enter. Now, as Mr. Excel said, yes. Now we have control over where it breaks. I'm going to highlight just those words. And if I right click, a little mini toolbar comes up. And I can come up here and type something like 18 in font, enter. And then I could come down here, right click in that little, um, that little uh, mini toolbar. And then I'm going to also type 18 there, Enter. And so there, we've created our own type of uh, chart label off to the side using a text box. And I'm allowed to change the font. It certainly is not linked if I change the input data. But that certainly is a cool trick to know. All right, throw it back to Mr. Excel. Hey, all right, Mike, those were some good tricks. So if we use a text box, we can format each line differently, but it can't be, it has to be static. It can't be a formula. If we use a, a formula in a title, then we're stuck with the same font throughout. Uh, what to do, what to do, I don't know. Okay, well, uh, Mike, I appreciate you uh, playing along with uh, our charting week at Mr. Excel. Hopefully, uh, folks who are new to charts got a lot of great ideas here. I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is Fun.